the okay the next one is that what the number seven number seven yes yes so only only later yes. would would we understand what had happened that night yes, yes. only later yeah number eight eight um Nowhere. Yes. Nowhere. Nowhere. Nowhere before. Is nowhere before. Uh, oh no. Or only nowhere. It can be only nowhere. I have this one. Nowhere. Yes, nowhere. Nowhere. Hello. Hello, Hello. baby. Did you guys finish? Yes. Yes. Hi, Adriana. Hi. Adri, uh, Adri and Ari almost finished. So. Well, I was late, so I, I didn't. Participate. No. I noticed. <laughs> I thought you would. All right, so here is the slide. So we have the 10 sentences with the limiting and negative adverbials. Number one, John had never been to such a fantastic restaurant. So if we move the limiting adverbial. At the beginning. Ah, uh, yes. So, never. Never, yeah. Had John. John. Yes. Been been to such a fantastic restaurant. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, very <laughs> good. What about number two? I in no way want to be associated with this project. I wrote not for a minute. Do I want to be? Mm. Maybe, but you can use the, the same. Uh, in, a, in, a, in no way? In, In no way, way yes. Uh, Do I want to be associated with this project? In no way, In no yes. Way. Okay. Uh, in no way, do. Do I want to be associated with this project? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Is this good? Yes. Okay. What about number three? No, no sooner. Sooner. Had they eaten dinner? Eaten dinner. Mm -hmm. Then the ceiling crashed onto the dining table. Yeah, yeah. One more time. No sooner. Mm -hmm. had, they, had they had they eaten dinner? Then the ceiling crashed onto the dining table. All right. Nice. What about number four? Mm -hmm. Gershwin, I finished writing inside. Gershwin, announced the end of the exam. Scarcely had I finished. Had I finished? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Very good. Number five. Seldom. Seldom. Do I leave my house so early? Beautiful. Perfect. And the last one. I mean, the next one. Rarely people do. Do appreciate. Do people appreciate this musician's talent? One more time. Rarely do people do people appreciate this musician's talent. Musician's talent. Musicians. Musicians. Talent. talent. <laughs> yeah. Number seven. Um, only later. Only later. Only later. 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 Would we? Would we? Nice. Very, number eight. Nowhere. Nowhere. Had they met such rude people before? Nice. No. Okay. But if you did it in another form. Nowhere, nowhere before. before Together. Had they met? Yes, you, it's okay. also correct. I have four before. 
I'm sorry, one more time. I have wrote nowhere before. Yeah, nowhere before is okay. Okay, Num number nine. Little. Little. Did he understand? Did he understand, did he understand about the situation? Mm, okay. Thank you. And the last one, number ten. And on a, on no account, should the children go on their own? I was confused too. And the number ten. Yes, number 10. Is it better now? Is it better now? Mm -hmm. no. yes. That's good. On no account. Is like on no in, account. under no circumstances? Uh no. On no account means um on no account means mm -hmm. no excuses are accepted. Excuses. Mm -hmm. Account would be for reason. On no reason should the children go on their own. Okay. I think I could, I, I didn't, I don't know that, that expression. Okay. And that's why it was difficult for me to, to find mm -hmm. which was, which was, was the adverb. Okay, so is it okay now? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, perfect. How are you guys doing on the platform? Nothing. <laughs> you can do the exam tonight or tomorrow morning. I would like to do it tonight. You would like, okay, you have time? Uh, I'm going to do it when my kid uh, is asleep. Is asleep. Oh, and work. are you going to be awake? Yes, I have to because I don't think tomorrow I can have time. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Let, remind, if I forget, remind me to send you the link, uh, you know, before it's too late. For example, before midnight. If I, if at 9 p.m. I do not share with you guys the link, remind me, please. Okay. I, because I'm, sometimes I get busy and I get distracted. Okay. Hello, Arturo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good, good. Okay, guys. So that was, um, <laughs> I was going to say something else. Uh, mm -hmm. Inversions. Subject and verb inversions. Is that better now? Yes. 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 I was yes. only confused, like, when to use the auxiliary do, like. When the sentence is in simple present. For okay. first person or plural. Okay, so every time that I see a simple present, I have to use the auxiliary. Okay. Yes, so I can show you an example. Yes. I never make a mistake. Oh. <laughs> this is just an, an example. <laughs> Never do I. Yes. Now, this yes. is a limiting adverbial. Or actually, this is a negative, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Negative adverb. Yes. Now, the most important part of my sentence is I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can notice it on a conversation. I. I never make a mistake. I, I in the sentence is the most important part, the most important element. I. But in a conversation, when this is the most important part, when you want to make that a little dramatic, then you give it the first place. Never. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to ask, now that I understand, mm -hmm. when do we use uh, this, this kind of expression? I mean, talking normally or in a normal speech? When do we uh, use it? when we emphasize mm -hmm. on the adverb is the most important element okay and because this the very first word that we have is a negative word then the rest should be negative right mm -hmm. 
Yes. But he's not. No. It's, it's a positive it's statement. It's the opposite. Well, That's well. why we need this confirmation that it's a positive sentence. Yes. Now, uh, somebody asked me yesterday, what happens if I just don't? If I just make it simple, never make a mistake. Uh -huh. If we do this, the position of the adverb is incorrect. Yes. Because the adverb goes before before the verb. And let's say that we have um, our verb in the past. I never. I never did a mistake. I never made a mistake. Made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Never made. Made in a mistake. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use D. Yes. Yes, never. Never did I, did I, never did I make, make a mistake. Make a mistake. Okay. Okay. Once again, I think uh, to make it again, the adverb never goes together with the verb. So if I'm Put the never adverb in the first position. I need a verb. Mm -hmm. So what verb do I use? I use the auxiliary of my activity verb. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Uh, would you like another example just like this or? I got it, but if you want to give us only if you one. guys ask, if you guys ask only because I we have it. another class, <laughs> we have another topic. Go ahead. This is an easy one. I hope uh, I know your easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> it is easy. I'm, I'm actually thinking of moving this to the first days. Don't fool, don't fool us. No, I'm not. Of course not. <laughs> What do you guys see on the screen? The places That's I would scary. like to be. I know. These are nice <laughs> places. What places do you think have the best stories? Acapulco. Hmm. The it first works. one, the lake. The, the lake with the mountain. Um, yes. Lake. What place is this? Hmm. The sea what? Japan? Oh no. I don't know. No? In three, two, oh, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I'm I know. Oh, okay. So very close. Hmm. So this is Rob, and we're going to read his travel blog. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rob's Amazon travel blog. The <laughs> Amazon. Is that interesting or is yes. it boring? No, no, that's interesting. Amazon all right. is so, always interesting. So, can you guess what happened in Rob's trip? Maybe he got lost in the Amazon. Oh, very nice. We're going to talk about days 21 and 22. Bolivia to, 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 to what? Renabaque. <laughs> Renabaque. Via La Paz. Via La Paz. <laughs> so I have no idea where he started. He says Bolivia to Renabaque. Where's Renabaque? Probably a town. I don't know, somewhere around here, right? Somewhere near La Paz, yeah. And he says, via La Paz. So he's going to La Paz to go to Rurrenabaque. Yes? Okay. Now, there's, there's a, a beautiful mountain by a small city. Mm -hmm. This is okay. uh, this, this plane. Is that by by motor by engine? Really? Mm -hmm. Something like that. But this is called a sixteen seater. Yes, I saw mm -hmm. like a, it looks like a sixteen. 
16-seater. Uh, oh. Yeah, it has 16 seats for passengers. Mm -hmm. A 16-seater. Interesting. And this is Rob. I think Rob. Let's think of different things that happened to Rob. Sauna and Akanda. Eight enchiladas. I don't know. What do you think happened? Eight hey, and then I call that. <laughs> <laughs> fruit. Eight a grasshopper. Oh. Continue. Continue. What else happened in, in his trip? Mm. Was caught in a storm. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. He took a lot of photos. Okay. Any other idea? Um, swam in the river. The forest on the swam in the river. Yes, enjoy, enjoy the place. Enjoy the place. Met a lost forest. What? Met what? Met a lost tribal. Tribe. 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 Met tribe. a lost. Ah, yes, you're right. Tribe. tribe. All right. Very good. You have good imagination, guys. Now, what we're going to do is listen and what happened in Rob's trip. Are you ready? Yes. Rob's Amazon travel blog, days 21 and 22, Bolivia to Rodinabaque via La Paz. The first views of La Paz were amazing. Impressive downtown buildings surrounded by vast suburbs climbing up breathtaking mountains. The trip was fascinating but tiring. I slept well that night. The next morning, I asked about travel to Rodinabaque gateway to the Amazon basin. The tour agent informed me that the last bus had left. She also said the trip would take an exhausting 18 hours or more by bus. A depressing thought. So I opted to fly despite the cost. I called the airport. They said all the flights that day were full. They told me there were seats on the 6 a.m. flight the next day, which meant getting up at 4 a.m., so I went to the airport the following morning. I was puzzled that only a handful of people were checking in, which was surprising since Rodinabaque is a popular destination. I soon discovered why. The check-in agent explained that the plane was just a 16-seater, a frightening prospect. Then she said there might be a delay because of bad weather, which wasn't very encouraging. In the end, the flight was on time, Though I have to say it was pretty challenging, the pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy, and it was. Actually, it was terrifying. I was just happy to get there safely, and I felt much more relaxed in the evening. It was the start of my Amazon adventure. So, what did you see or what did you hear? He uh, narrates, he tells. What things happen in this little brief entry of his blog? That it was with a nice view. Nice view, okay. What else? He said something about his uh, trip, his tour. I heard yeah. What can you repeat that, Sue? Please. Uh, it was a fascinating but tired travel. Okay, very good. Anything uh, else? He also told that the last bus that he was going to take left. So in the last minute, he he um he took a delayed flight because of, because of the bad weather. Okay. Okay. Does it have an ending? 
Yes. He said that the landing or well, the, the pilot said that the landing will be pumping. Yeah. But at the end, he had a relaxing evening. Very nice, guys. That was really good. So let's take a look at the story. The first views of La Paz were amazing. Impressive downtown buildings surrounded by vast suburbs climbing up breathtaking mountains. The trip was fascinating but tiring. I slept well that night. The next morning, I asked about travel to Rurinabake, gateway to the Amazon basin. The tour agent informed me that the last bus had left. She also said the trip would take an exhausting 18 hours or more by bus. A depressing thought. So I opted to fly despite the cost. I called the airport. They said all the flights that day were full. They told me there were seats on the 6 a.m. flight the next day, which meant getting up at 4 a.m. So I went to the airport the following morning. I was puzzled that only a handful of people were checking in, which was surprising since Rodenabake is a popular destination. I soon discovered why. The check-in agent explained that the plane was just a 16-seater, a frightening prospect. Then she said there might be a delay because of bad weather, which wasn't very encouraging. In the end, the flight was on time, though I have to say it was pretty challenging. The pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy, and it was. Actually, it was terrifying. I was just happy to get there safely, and I felt much more relaxed in the evening. It was the start of my Amazon adventure. Okay, guys, so what happened? He couldn't uh, get in the bus, in the last bus. Yeah, he couldn't get in the last bus. So he had to wait for the bus plus had left for the next option, which was uh, apply. <laughs> yes, so very early. I opted to fly. Okay. Is that it? He had to wait until the next day because the last flight that day were um, was full. And yes. yeah, and the next the next day he went to the airport at four a.m. I guess. Yeah. And okay. he was surprised that. Uh, even it's a um, popular destination, uh, there were few people in the flight in the 60s. So I, he yeah. was puzzled. Yeah. Uh huh. Puzzled. What is that? Puzzle? Uh huh. The meaning of that somebody in is puzzled. Intrigued. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Hold on, this is Mrs. Bell. Intrigued? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's without the U. Yeah, I think it's without the U. Intrigued, but it sounds strange. It looks strange. I'm sorry, but uh, I'll find it in a minute. But yes, like that. Curious, like. I don't know. Another one, another word, intrigued. Hmm, nothing comes to mind right now. But yes, puzzled, intrigued, okay? Okay. Perfect, there you go. What else happened? Oh, you were all, you were actually right, teacher. Intrigued with the with the you. With the you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. It, yeah. it looks a little funny, but <laughs> yeah. so, sometimes my Spanish wires uh, crisscross the English Spanish, the English uh, wires. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I know. Okay, guys, so what else happened? There were about weather 
and the a bad weather, yes, bad weather. And the pilot had a hard landing. The pilot had what? The pilot had a hard landing. The pilot landing will be really bumpy. Yes. And it was actually it was terrifying. And what happened? He felt relaxed. In the evening. Okay. That's about that's about sufficient. That's enough. Now the next question is what do you think about Rob Strip? I think um it was interesting, even uh, even though when you travel to this kind of, of places, uh, you can find kind of these uh, adventures that something is not on time or the, the transportation is not exactly the, the ones that we know <laughs> in the city. They can yeah. have... Um, they can fail, is that correct to say it? They can fall. Okay. okay. Hmm. So would you go on this trip to Rurre Navake? Mm, yes. No. It, <laughs> sounds, no. it sounds really adventurous for me. <laughs> so is that a yes or is that a no? <laughs> uh, is that a maybe? <laughs> is that a, okay. All right, very good. So what we're going to check now, uh, is this answer the questions and underline the words in the blog that give you the answers. When did Rob feel tired? When he had to go to the airport the uh, next morning. Depressed? When he found, when he didn't find a... Uh, he didn't find. He didn't find uh place in the flight in the flight okay surprised yeah when, when he arrived to the check-in at the airport okay and terrified yes at the so flight at the land, flight the, so yeah. here's the story when, when, when in the landing oh. yeah <laughs> so when did rob feel tired At the end of the of his travel, because yes. he said it was fascinating but tiring. Tiring. So the trip, right? Yes. After the trip. After the trip. Yes, perfect. After the trip. So when did Rob feel depressed? When he when he know knew about eighteen hours of travel. Oh yes, and yes, yes. when the pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy, no? Uh, no. no. When the boss. When the tour agent informed him that the last bus had left and, and that and that the trip would take. An exhausting 18 hours or more. I so, part of the adventure. Depressed. Yes. Depressed, right? Yes? <laughs> yes. Okay. What about surprised? When he puzzled about why he, people... He puzzled. No, he... he when he was... He was puzzled. Yeah, continue. He was puzzled that only a few people were checking. Perfect. Checking in at the uh, airport, right? Like Arturo mentioned. 
And when did he feel terrified? When he, when when he were screaming at different phenomena because the bad weather, you know? And the when pilot the was lighting warning. the airplane. The pilot no, it's when the pilot warned him and the other passengers that, that the, landing the landing will be, will be really bumpy. bumpy. And it was. So in the landing then, right? Yes. In the landing. It was terrifying. Very good. Okay, guys. So very quickly, we're going to go over this. I think I can share the image with you. Make a chart like this of the adjectives in bold in the blog. Add the other adjectives and verb forms. For example, you feel we are looking for adjectives in bold. What is the first adjective in bold? Amazing. 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 So amazing. you feel amazing? Amazed. You feel amazed, amazed because something is? Amazing. Amazing. And the verb is? Amaze. 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 What is the next adjective? Impressive. 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 So you feel impressed, impressed. impressed because something is impressive. 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 Yes. yes. The verb is impressed. 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 All right, now I'm going to give you the picture on the WhatsApp group. Okay. So let's do the next one. Where is it? It's over here. What is the next adjective? Fascinating. 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 So, do you feel? Fascinated. 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 Fascinated because something is? Fascinating. 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 And the verb? Fascinating. 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 Next? Tiring. Tiring. Do you feel? Tired. 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 Tired because something is? Tired. Tiring. And the verb is? Tired. 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 Now, let's go quickly. Just... Begin with the correct one. You feel because something is exhausted, exhausting, exhausted. Next, depressed, depressed, depressing, depressed, depressed, puzzled, puzzled, puzzling. Puzzle. 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 Next. Surprise. 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 Surprising. Surprising. Surprise. 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 Next. Frightening. 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 They sound very similar. Frightened and frightened. They sound a little similar. Next. Encouraged. 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 Encouraging. 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 Next. Challenge. 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 Challenging. 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 Challenge. 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 Next. Terrifying. 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 Relaxed. 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 Relaxing. 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 Very good. That was fast. Now, talk about travel experiences you have had. Take turns using words from the chart. Now, an example, because you need to share some of experience. An example would be, this lady is talking about what? What is she talking about? 
It fly. A, a tornado. And what happened in the flight or during the flight? Bad weather. There was a bad weather. That was a bad storm. Mm -hmm. And what happened during the storm? A tornado. There was form. A tornado. Oh. Is this scary? Nah, yeah. This is, yeah, this, yeah, this is fun. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's raining. It's raining. Raining. So the example is, I flew in a bad weather once. It was pretty frightening. Actually, I was terrified. Do you believe her? Of yes, course. Sure. <laughs> All right, your turn. Your turn. Who would like to share something? Adriana Martinez. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> Let me think about it then. All right. Okay. Think about it. What about the rest of you guys? Mm. Mm. It's hard to remember something. It's hard um. to explain the situation that my family and I went through during the fluid on 2013. I don't know if you remember here in Acapulco. Emmanuel? Yeah, the uh, two hurricanes. I don't um, remember the hurricanes. Are you, well, Emmanuel, and I don't remember the other one. And Ingrid. Ingrid, yes. Ingrid. Yes. So we um, we were trying to get through the other side of Acapulco, and we tried to cross this um, avenue called um, well, it was the boulevard, actually, the, the principal boulevard here in Zona Diamante. So um, <laughs> it was really um, terrifying because the, the rain was pouring and we were like trying to get through the, the avenue um, by a car and then the car got stuck in the middle of the avenue. And then the flute were like all over the place and we were like in the middle. So we were, we were very um, terrified. I can imagine. Yeah, it was a tough situation. Good thing you survived and you're entire. I know. <laughs> well, thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thank you. And somebody else would like to share something? Me. Go right ahead. Mm, once I was swimming in Caleta, so I was fascinated because I could see many fishes Fish. and the whole, the whole wildlife on the ocean, but while I was swimming, I didn't notice that I was swimming in open water. Oh, wow. Uh, not in the shore, no, in the open water. Yeah. So you can see? It, I terrified. You was. You were. I was. <laughs> I were, no, I was terrified because I never <laughs> thought that I... I was swimming there. I I was so impressed about that, but mm -hmm. I feel comfort uh, relaxed because my team uh, my team um, me alcanzo. I don't remember the word. Uh, you can say many things. Reach up to me. Met up with me. Caught up yes. with me. Reach out up to me. And then I'm swimming oh. so much more like than, than before. It's so, yes. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I can imagine it was a scary thought. In Caleta, I have seen sharks come by the shore. Yes, in shallow yeah. waters, I've, I've seen sharks, but I haven't heard of any accident yet. The, the, there is a hotel near Caleta that is famous because a famous actor in the 1940s uh, was bitten by a shark and the lady died. But that was that's the only story I know of. Don't tell them that, teacher. They, they wouldn't <laughs> want to come here. 
1940. It was like what 80 years ago. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Don't listen to him. Acapulco is really nice. It Come is and nice. visit us. <laughs> All right. No. Sorry about that. So, anybody <laughs> else? Uh, anybody else? You can come. Yes. I, I, you can uh, come anytime. <laughs> I went to um, a place in Veracruz some years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how many years. Uh, to visit and to practice some extreme sports. I don't like them, but my young sister wanted to go. So I was with her and I did, which one is, I think it's rappel, the one that you use a car to go down. And in the middle of the, of the hike, I was really terrified. I couldn't move and I couldn't go up, go back up, and I was terrified to go down. But so it took me, I don't know, I think 10 minutes to to react and to say, you don't have option to you, to ha you have to go down. But it was really terrifying to me. Terrifying, yes. Terrifying. Uh, it's scary. I was, I was terrified. You were, you still are. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's a, a, a little pet peeve you need, we need to uh, get over. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to continue with the class. We have a uh, very little time, okay? All right, thank you. Now, grammar, reporting what people say. Read the things below that people said to Rob. Write how he reports them in his blog. How are the reports different from the words that people actually use? So he says, or we have this quote. This person said this to him. There are seats on the 6 a.m. flight tomorrow. How did Rob tells this? How does he narrate this sentence exactly the same or different he was told or he was told he, their story uh, you have they, the story well it says, oh, they yeah. told me they were seats on the 6 a.m flight the next day the same no? yeah maybe you relax so they told me so told me. what is the answer mm -hmm. okay let they, me see they told me there were seats on the 6 a.m. flight the next day. They told me there were seats on the 6 a.m. flight, flight the next day. The, the next, next day. day. There you go. So let me type that down, please. Ah, on the dice en este artículo que es una medida de sensibilidad de la cantidad que se demanda de un bien o servicio respecto a la atención there very good so what we're going to do is check this cuánto que el mercado se te va a What's the difference between these two sentences? <laughs> the time expression? Well, yes, the, the, time. And the verb tense. There are, there were. Oh. Yes, there are the differences. Let's go with sentence number two. There might be a delay. How does Rob mention this? He said there might be a delay. They, then she said, she said there might be a delay. So let me write this down. Como que se 
She said there might be a delay. Yeah, what's the difference? Again, the verb tense and also the the there model verbs. My, might. What's the other difference? The other difference is the introduction. She said and they told me. So that is reporting a speech. Are you familiar with reported speech? Kind of. Kind of? So, so? All right, then I think it's a good topic. I thought would, it would go faster. Do you want me to return? Go ahead. Copy whatever you have to copy. Oh my goodness. Who left? David. David, yes. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Diana. Sanchez. Hi, teacher. Are you guys okay? Are you ladies okay? Yes. You're a little quiet today. I'm tired. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Now, what we're going to see is reported speech in the statements. Okay. When you report things people said in the past, the verb tense often shifts back. So the verb tense moves one space to the past. Check this. The plane's just a 16 seater. The agent said that, right? Is the agent who says this? The plane's just a 16 seater. And Rob is telling his friend what she said. So that's reporting a speech. When you report the speech, Notice the tense. What's, what time tense is this? Present. Stable present. Yes, or present of B. So in your reporting speech, the agent explained that the plane was just a 16 seater. Ready for the next one? Yes. The last boss has left. When you report this, you notice the tense of the sentence. What is the tense? Present perfect. Present perfect has left. So you say, she informed me that the last boss had left. Patty. So it moved. It moves one space in the timeline, okay? The present to simple past, present perfect to past perfect. Would you like to see how the tenses move? Yes. All yes. right. So let's begin. I'm going to show you one example for every tense in the present simple. She always wears a coat. This is simple present. She always wears. In simple present in reported speech, use the past simple. He said that she always wore a coat. So simple present moves to simple past. Present continues, I'm looking for my keys. Moves to past continuous. She said that she was looking for her keys. Present continuous and past continuous. Next. Mm -hmm. Yes. Present perfect. She has written three letters for her friend. He said that she, she had she written, written three letters for her friend. Next. Yes. Mm -hmm. Simple past. My friend gave me a bar of chocolate. 
How do we say it in reported speech? Simple past. Past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. He said that his friend had given him a bottle of chocolate. Notice how the, the people move. His friend, my friend. Of course, the direction of the speech. Next, will. What? Yes, I will finish my report in two days. He said <laughs> that he would finish his report in two days. Next, can, model, cool. I can. Cool. She said that she could speak. May, I may invite them for dinner. Might. 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 She said that they might invite them to dinner. Must. I must go to the bank. Must. Had to. All right. Would you like to take your picture? Or do you want me to send you the picture? Yes. Send it, please. Yes, please, teacher. Send the, the picture, please. As, as long as Diana Yala sends me a bowl of cereal, and I'll send the picture. It's not a cereal. It's actually an apple pie, teacher. And I'll send it to you, of course. Even better <laughs> apple pie. Any day, teacher. Just send yeah. me the, the address. Uh, send it on the WhatsApp group. It's faster. <laughs> All right. It's in the WhatsApp group now. And report a speech. Now, this happened as an example. Okay. Last weekend. Okay. And this, let's say, is the following. No, let's say it's Wednesday. I don't know. It's just an example. If I'm mistaken, uh, bear with me, please. Okay, in a party, a boy and a girl are meeting and they're talking. Yes? And in this little party, he says, I will call you tomorrow. And now on Wednesday, she's talking to her friend, her friend, Anna. She's talking about the boy. Let's call him Tony. Report the speech. He said that he would call me. So will changes to? Would. Would. Next example. I love you. I know, I know. He said he loved me. He said he loved me. There you go. Yes. <laughs> that stuff. Uh, uh, I know. Another one. I can't go. Like he said he couldn't go. He said he couldn't go. Very good, mister. Next. I'm exercising. Said he was exercising. Said he was exercising. Very good. Next. Yes. I've traveled a lot. He said he had. He, he said he had traveled a lot. He said he had traveled. Next. Yes. I forgot to call you. He said he, ha, he, he had forgotten. forgotten. He said he had forgotten. All right. More things. These modal verbs change in reported speech. Can changes to could, will changes to would, may changes to might, and must changes to had to. There might be a delay. She said that there might be a delay. Another example. I can go to the party. I'll take a friend. I may be a little late because I must ask my father first. Reported speech, the first sentence. 
he, he said that he could. Party. He said he could go to the party. Next. He said that he, say, that he would take he a friend. Would take a that he would take a friend, yes. Next. He, he said that he might be a little late. Okay. And that he might be a little late. And the last one? He had to. That he, he had to ask. Perfect. And remember that the people change. My father changes to his, his father. Yes, next. These modal verbs don't change. Could, should, would, might, used to. Remember used to because this is a very common expression in a speech, in conversation. It doesn't change. It stays the same. An example? Yes. I could bring something to eat. He said he could bring something to eat. It doesn't change. It stays the same. Next. Yes. Time expressions often change too. The flights are full today and tomorrow. So... Reporter speech. He said that the flights were for today, that day. that day, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. More examples. Tonight, that night. night. He said that night. Two days ago. Before. Two days before. He said. He said two days before. Last Friday. He said the previous Friday. All right, good. Next. Common errors. Use an indirect object after tell, the verb tell, but not after say. He told me, told, the verb told needs an object. Me, me is the object. But when you say explain or said, the object is the message. That is the object. So with explainer said, no me, but with told, you use me. Example, I like Peter. She said she liked you. But what about with a different verb? She told me, she liked you. Kelly said many things yesterday. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, number one, my kids are at home. Kelly said, Your kids are here. Where? Home at home. That her kids were at home. Number two. Okay. Kelly said okay. th that she couldn't go to work. Very good. Number three. Kelly said, Kelly said she didn't, didn't, didn't know, know the answer. Didn't know. Very good. Number four. Kelly, Kelly, said, said, Kelly said that she had some she, um, can you repeat that, please? He had Kelly said that she, that she had some free time. Very good. Number five. 
Kelly said that she was late for class. Number six. Kelly said that she didn't want. She wanted. She wanted to eat lunch. And number seven. Kelly said that she didn't feel well. Number eight. Kelly said that she didn't feel Kelly said that some felt hungry. Number nine. Kelly said that the pants are blue. Wear blue. Wear blue. And number 10. Kelly said that you were right. I was right. I I was right. But yeah. Yes. Easy. No? Yes. Easy a little bit. Peasy. Easy peasy. Beautiful. I know. Sure. I yes. have a question. So yes. it's correct to say say uh, say to me. No, that that wouldn't no. be correct. No. So in this case, the object pronoun is not used with say. With say, no, that's correct. Okay, with thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So hold on, I'm looking for the, yeah, this is the one. And we have a little time. Repeat the doubt. What? Can you repeat that, please? I didn't doubt because I couldn't hear. <laughs> Can you repeat that, please? Yeah, because she had a doubt about say to me, uh, which is the correct one. Um, after say, oh my goodness, for example, the teacher says he is very handsome. Hey, come on. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Look, Patty. Look, Patty. She's hiding because she's laughing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do with the verb say, you only refer or you only continue with the message. After say the message, you only mention the message that was given, the idea that was shared. But with the verb told, the teacher, what am I doing? Told me. Told me, yeah. Yes, when you have the verb told, now you have, you need the object, the, re the recipient of the message, the receiver, the listener, the, con the conversation counterpart. And that would be either me or my classmates or my father or my mother, etc. You need the, the person that is receiving the message. And after this, you say, let me change the color of this. So the teacher told me or my classmates or my father or my mother. And then you continue with a, uh, a relative class that, and then you send your message. Yes, very good. Um, is that better? Yes, teacher, of course. All right. Now, what we're going to do in only two minutes is find all the sentences Rob says in reported speech. What are they? Where are they? The first one is this one. The tour agent informed me that the boss had left. That's the first one. She also, she, also she also played. Yeah. The trip would hey. take 
Exhausting. An exhausting 18 hours or more by bus. They say. They said all, all the flights. That flights that they they said all the flights. They told me. Yeah. They told me, yeah. they told me there were seats on the same flight the next day. And then next? she said there might be a delay. Is that the next one? Then she said then she there said, might be a uh, Mm -hmm. Okay. There might be a delay. Mm -hmm. Is that it? I have to say yes. The pilot. The checking agent up. explained. Yes. But the plane was just. No. The checking agent explained that the plane oh, was the just plane. a 16 seater. Yes. Okay. And then pilot warned say... us. Sorry. What? The pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy. Is there something more? more? I have before that. I have to say it was pretty challenging. I have to say, is that reporting a speech? Mm, no, no, you're right. no, it's not reporting a speech. Mm -hmm. I think that's plenty. So what I want. Mm -hmm. What I want us to do is to say, what did these people say? That's why I have the, the white uh, little screen. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the tour, the people, the extra people. So number one, the tour agent informed me. So what did the tour agent say? That the, the last that bus the last had, bus had left. left. The last bus had left. What? Had left. Had left. Is left. Is. Uh, oh no. Has has left. Has left. Yes, I think has left. Left. Yes, the correct the correct form is left. left. The last bus. But when you're in a speech like that, when you're in a terminal, a bus terminal, uh, and yeah. you tell and you say that the agent, hi lady, I want a ticket to Renovake. Oh, I'm sorry, the last bus left. Just, just left. left. There. Okay. Oh. That will be the first one. What about the next one? She also said that the trip will take an existing, an exhausting 18 hours or more by bus. The trip, the will, trip, the will, trip will take. Will take. <clears throat> the trip will take. Excellent. Okay. Next. They said all the flights that day were full. Today. All the all flights the today are, flies that are full. All the flights are, today are full. Yes. Today, uh, all the flights today. are full. Uh, the next one. They told me there were seats on the 6 a.m. flight the next day. There are, there are, there are seats on the 6 a.m. flight there tomorrow. Are. Yes, there are seats on the 6 a.m. flight tomorrow. Very good. The next one, the check-in agent. The plane is? The plane, the plane is just, just yeah, a 16 seater. Yes. Next, there might be a delay. There, might there be may be, be, there may be, be a delay. delay. A delay. The pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy. The landing will the be landing really will bumpy. Be. Very good, guys. Perfect. Do you have any questions? No. Not so far. No? All right. So let me find the correct page. Now, in Rurrenavake, Rob met up with Conrad, who had been there before. So Conrad is a friend of Rob. And Conrad was in Rurrenavake on a previous trip. Maybe a little earlier, I don't know. Complete the reported speech from the rest of Rob's blog. At me where necessary. So Rob said, I'm sorry, not Rob, Conrad, we can take a boat trip on the Vendy River tomorrow. So report the speech. Conrad said, 
they could they take. Could take. Mm -hmm. They could take. Continue, please. They could boat take a boat trip, trip on the Benny River, River the, the, next day. Or, or the next day. Take that. Yes. Oh yes. No? Yes. Yes. Next day. Okay, I don't know if it fits. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Do it a smaller. Yeah, it has to be more a little smaller because it doesn't go in. I'm gonna make it a little more visible. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is send you on uh, sessions so you guys can do this in teams for in only two minutes. Oh, yes. All right, guys, I'll see you in two minutes. All right, guys, did you finish? Yes. All right, very good. So let's begin. Or, yeah, let's just begin. Oh. Conrad said. <sighs> Conrad said. Um, um, they oh, could... you gave us the first one. I don't remember. <laughs> Conrad said they could. Oh, we. Conrad could. said we. We uh, could. We could take they a could. They could. Oh, they. Yes. They could or, take a yes, boat. that would be if, if they if it's about Rob saying it, right? That's right. If Rob is talking, yes, we could take a boat trip the next day, or can we say the following day? That's also correct. Thank you. That's good. Number two. He told that they would see some amazing red light. Uh, uh, they? they would. Like that? He told me? Yes. Yes, we have. He told me. Yeah. He told me that we will see. It told me. There. Told me. No. Told me. Told that me. Oh, I'm sorry. Before that. Um, told he told me, me that. He told me that. that. Is it correct that we use we will? We. He told me that we will. No. We would. I don't know what happened to the. Ah, I don't know what's. What am I doing with this thing? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh. He told me. Perfect. Next. He explained that they had to make a reservation. He told me that I have they to had to make a reservation. Is the same today? Isn't that it, day. Isn't it that we? day. That he day. explained that we. Otro. Yeah, you can say it that way, yeah. That we. Next. Number four. He said. Yes. Is uh, correct. He explained me. 
No. And that is a connector. The connector that is optional or is. The corrector, it, it is optional, but it most commonly is used. I didn't put it. Okay, number four. He said that he, he, said had, that he had seen in. some monkeys. And we might even see pink dolphins. Like that. Is it correct if we grow? He said that Ro had seen some monkeys. Can you repeat that, please? Ro he said that Ro had seen. No, because we are under the impression that Rob is speaking. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So Rob is speaking. So he said, Who is he? If the person speaking is Conrad. Rob, yeah, he is Conrad. But if we use he, he say that Rob had seen. No, because the person is speaking. Is Conrad. No, it's not Conrad. It's Rob. It's Rob. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Conrad said. So if you say Conrad said, who is speaking? Rob. 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 Yes? Yes. Okay. Next, uh, number five. He explained that people used to leave used to leave trash in the forest. No change. Yes. Here, no like change. That. We don't no have change. to add the hat over there. No, nope. it doesn't no? change. Used to. Okay. Used to doesn't change. Used to. And... Used to remains the same. Okay. And okay. It's okay. We weren't sure. Number six. He told the tour companies that had, had become. become. What he told? What he told? He that told tour companies. He told me, oh, he told me, yeah. He told me that tour companies had become more aware of environment. Had become? Had become, yes. yes. Etc. Like that? Yeah. Yes. And the last one. He said he that, said they that should... no, we we should go. He said that we should go on a guided tour today. Oh, yeah. That day. So we could learn about all the rainforests. So that we can learn about the rainforest. All about all about rainforest. all about right. Yeah. All about the rainforest. Perfect, guys. Are there any questions? No, teacher. No. No. no? And time's up. We are finished for today. How was the class? Good. Do you want to take? Do you want to take the picture? Can I erase this? No. Oh, okay. Do you want a picture? Yes. yes. Could you? Yes. Jesus, the yes. platform is on mine. It's maintenance. 
Maintenance. <laughs> Main maintenance. Main. Maintenance. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. So, so yeah. it usually takes it usually takes a, a day. Sometimes oh, okay. it, it tells you the dates. I didn't read what dates were there. So they said that they were on uh, during the weekend. I the guess week I, I I read it. Yeah. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be up and running really soon. Okay. Thank okay, you. so I will share the link with you guys. You can do the exam and then we can look at the exam results tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we will have the last class. Oh, really? I mean, the last lesson, the last lesson. Yes, tomorrow, um... Wednesday. The last lesson and after tomorrow, on mm -hmm. Thursday, we'll see uh, some topics on, on the exam and that will be it, that will, they will be finished. So you will send us the link to do the test? Yes, to do the exam. That's correct. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, okay teacher. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Are there any questions? No, teacher. No. No. Awesome. Excellent. Well, have a, get, a great night. And sleep well. Sleep tight. Relax Thank before you. you do the exam. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye.